ओजोन विच विल बी रिप्रेजेंटेड एज ओ थ्री एक्चुअली ओजोन इज एन अल्लोट्रोपिक फॉर्म ऑफ अल्लोट्रोपिक फॉर्म ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इट इज एन अल्लोट्रोपिक फॉर्म ऑफ ऑक्सीजन एक्चुअली इट इज टू रियाक्टिव टू रियाक्टिव टू लीव लॉन्ग एट टॉप ऑफ द सी और टॉप ऑफ द सी लेवल अप्रॉक्सिमेटली अबाउट टू ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर्स ऑफ हाइट फ्रॉम हेथ्स एर्थ सर्फेस अबाउट टू 20 kilometers of height from earth's surface it is produced from it is produced from oxygen oxygen in the presence of in the presence of sunlight In the presence of sunlight, here twenty kilometers of height, it is produced from oxygen in the presence of sunlight. In the laboratory, ozone will be produced from oxygen. In the laboratory, it is produced from oxygen when. a dry stream of oxygen dry stream of oxygen passed by using silent electric discharge electrical discharge oxygen can converts into ozone we can represent it as 3o2 gives rise to 2o3 so during this process there is amount of energy releases which will be written as plus 143.9 kJ per mole of energy so this is what here in the laboratory ozone will be produced from oxygen when this oxygen dry gas or dry stream of oxygen when passed by using or passed through silent electrical discharge tube oxygen converts into ozone so from this statement it was very clear that it is an endothermic endo thermic process for endothermic processes delta h will be positive and moreover during the conversion of oxygen into ozone entropy of this process entropy increases entropy increases so for endothermic for this negative and if entropy increases that will be positive so this is about ozone let us have physical properties or properties of ozone properties here ozone is pale blue color gas that means in gaseous form it will show pale blue color in liquid state it will be with dark blue color but in solid state it is violet black color violet black color in 
solid state so the three forms are available pale blue dark blue and violet black the ozone in gaseous state exists with pale, plain, pale blue color and liquid state with dark blue color and solid state with violet black color the most important one it is or it works as strong oxidizing strong oxidizing agent it works as strong oxidizing agent why because ozone can dissociate to produce nascent oxygen nascent oxygen that means atomic oxygen so that uh, just produced oxygen newly born oxygen from ozone oxygen atom from ozone is called as nascent oxygen this nascent oxygen due to release of nascent oxygen from ozone ozone will works as strong oxidizing agent due to its oxidizing character it can oxidize silver into silver oxide that means we can write it as 2 ag in the presence of o3 in the in, converts into silver oxide similarly ozone can also reacts with mercury and produces mercurous oxide hg2o plus o2 here is also release of o2 oxygen gas takes place here is also release of oxygen gas takes place so the, this this is uh, this is the most important reaction means when mercury undergoes oxidation with ozone to produce mercurous oxide mercurous oxide so the resulting mercury is mercurous oxide when mercury mercurous oxide formed in the test tube or reacting tube reaction container it eliminates it eliminates the formed mercurous oxide by dissolving in by dissolving in mercury eliminates eliminates meniscus of mercury it is going to eliminate meniscus of mercury and forms or sticks at walls of the container walls of the container by losing its meniscus it is going to sticks onto the walls of the container this is called as tailing of mercury tailing of mercury so this is the most important two marks question what is tailing of mercury once again when ozone reacts with mercury it produces mercurous oxide the formed mercurous oxide will have soluble will be soluble in mercury when it is going to dissolve in mercury it eliminates mer meniscus as mer uh, meniscus of mercury and sticks at the walls of container so this process is called as tailing of mercury again the eliminated meniscus character the meniscus nature meniscus nature will be regained regained by shaking the container by shaking the container so this is the most important question two more question what is tailing of mercury next one 
due to release of nascent oxygen it can oxidize different types of species like Fer sorry, ferrous sulfide by reacting with oxygen it oxidized to ferrous sulfate so it is this will be happened here ok oxidation of sulfides takes place to sulfates in the presence of ozone so all these reactions due to release of nascent oxygen during uh, sorry nascent oxygen from ozone let us have uses uses of uses of ozone ozone is used as it is used as germicide Infecticide and during the sterilization sterilization process of water sterilization process of water it is used next one the most important one is ozone will provide excess amount of thrust in rockets or when nitro nitric oxides released from exhausts of aeroplanes reacts with ozone they converts into o2 actually it is a harm harmful condition to earth harmful condition why because what is the purpose of ozone the most important use of ozone is it is it can filter harmful ultraviolet ultraviolet radiation that means the sun can release uv visible light but visible light only reaches to earth and whereas ultraviolet radiation filtered by ozone present in the atmosphere so this is the useful condition of ozone but due to due to industrialization industrialization and comma due, due to this process what is this generally the exhausts of aeroplanes can release nitrogen oxides the released nitrogen oxides are going to react with ozone layer and they participates depletion of ozone that means the density of ozone decreases when the density of ozone decreases they cannot filter ultraviolet radiation that means harmful ultraviolet radiation can easily reaches the earth earth surface which can create skin cancer similarly due to industrialization and exhausts of aeroplane as well as use of aerosols or use of freons in aerosols and refrigerants refrigerants the ozone layer will be participates in depletion depletion of ozone layer takes place which is not good to human beings or earth so this is about ozone